Hello and welcome. Today we will have an IoT HVAC airflow panel. I'm Vanessa Villa from Azure. I'm Peter Smith. I'm from TE Connectivity. I'm a, a senior manager for sales support. I'm Randy Wu, an embedded solutions engineer at Microchip Technology. And I'm Michael Lamp uh, with Avnet and the Global IoT team. Thank you so much for joining us today. So Peter, to start us off, can you tell me a little bit about what the benefit is to have HVAC sensors uh, in your HVAC system? Uh, Vanessa, sure. Um, maybe I'll go back a little bit in the history of HVAC systems. Uh, in the world, um, about half of the buildings in the world were built before 1970. And the HVAC systems in these buildings are fairly crude. They um, use a lot of energy. They are operate just like an air conditioner in your house. When, it's, when it needs to cool, it turns on or off. Uh, the heating elements are either on or off, and the fans are either on or off. And unfortunately, this is not the most efficient use of energy in HVAC systems. So because of a number of reasons, there are huge efforts right now to improve the efficiency in HVAC systems. And Part of that is to monitor the airflow that's passing through the ducts, how much air is moving, and what its temperature is. TE Connectivity has developed a line of sensors that are specifically designed to uh, monitor that airflow in a very accurate way. Uh, they're very compact, very small, easy to apply. Um, in the graphic, you can see here where we're using sensors to monitor just airflow in the upper left. Uh, on the right-hand side, the same sensor can be used to monitor the condition of a filter that might be in the duct. If it is plugged or blocked with debris or dirt, uh, the sensor can detect that, and they can come and do maintenance on the filter, clean it, change it, whatever. Um, there's a thing called variable air volume dampers now that are used to control the air that are dispensed in the building, and we use our sensors for those, and we can even detect leaks in the system. So. The addition of a sensor into the HVE system brings a tremendous amount of control over the system and it gives you a lot of data on how the system is operating, if it's operating properly or not, or if it needs maintenance. All of this results in a substantial reduction in the amount of power an HVA system can use. Um, and so we're uh, part of that whole effort to improve the efficiency of these HVA see uh, uh, equipment around the, around the world, actually. So uh, we're proud to be part of that. That sounds lovely. But in all of these graphics, uh, we see you know, one sensor being integrated with the HVAC systems. Can you tell me a little bit more why, in this particular demo for today, we have two different sensors? Ah, OK. Um, in some cases, the Pressure, differential pressure that you need to monitor can fall in a specific range where we're monitoring airflow. In other applications, like the filter uh, sensing application, we need to monitor different pressure ranges. And so we offer two different products that have different pressure sensor ranges. Um, uh, one device has a pressure range of about 100 to 500 pascals. Um, if you're uh, uh, in the metric system, a pascal is a measurement of pressure. The uh, other one, which is our LM series, can go down as low as 25 pascals of pressure difference. And just to give you an idea what that is, it's 0 0.007 PSI. If you think of a tire in your car, it's 32 PSI. We're measuring an incredibly tiny fraction of that with this. So um, these sensors are designed to be very low pressure sensors and uh, adapt to these uh, uh, duct work very well. Very, very interesting. And so, you know, we had just mentioned the ultra low pressure uh, digital sensor there and gone over all of those metrics. That's wonderful. But today you brought with you something called a micro e clickboard. Yes, if you look on our demo here, there are the sensors are mounted on little circuit boards. And uh, those are done by a company that we've engaged that uh, I think a lot of people are now familiar with because they've become very popular. We take our sensors, we put them on these clickboards, and these clickboards are designed to uh, make it very, very easy and simple for designers and engineers to integrate these sensors into their system. The boards are uh, easy to uh, interface with electrically. There's a simple connector. 
There is facility on there to provide an I2C digital uh, uh, serial output, so it's very easy to connect. And um, a, a design engineer, when he's working on the system, can actually take one of these click boards, download the software from the company that builds the click boards, and literally have his demo up and running in a matter of a couple of hours. Whereas if we just supplied the sensor itself, they would have to um, design their own board, they would have to design their own software, and that would take not hours, but weeks. Definitely. And so uh, this is an efficient way of helping design engineers uh, develop products and applications with these, with these sensors. So. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for all of your insights. You're welcome. Up next, we have Randy Wu from Microchip. So can you tell me a little bit more about the components that we're seeing here today? Yeah, so this platform consists of multiple off-the-shelf development boards. The main one, the main one being uh, the Microchip W532IoT de development board. This board features a fully Azure certified W532 module that contains an SOC that integrates a high-performance MCU, a Wi-Fi radio, and a secure element that's pre-provisioned to connect to cloud platforms such as Microsoft Azure. Wow, that's really, really awesome. So can you tell me a little bit more about the, the demo platform and you know, what accessories we have here today? Absolutely. So this board also has a micro bus socket on it that you can use to connect these click boards from Microelectronica, um, who is a third party of ours. Um, they are a maker of hardware and software tools for embedded developers. Um, as far as this demo is concerned, because there are two click boards that we have to connect to this board, and there's only one microbus socket, Mark Electronica offers what they call a shuttle click bundle that allows you to uh, connect up to four click boards to a single microbus socket. Wow. So, Randy, you are from Microchip, and can you tell me a little bit more about what Microchip develops? It sounds like you guys develop boards as well. Right, so we are a semiconductor manufacturer, and our goal really here in the IoT space is to enable IoT designs to be smart, connected, and secure, okay? So for the smart, we offer a vast portfolio um, spanning analog, digital, and mixed signal products that can help with the sensor node conditioning, edge computing, and power management. Okay, so that's kind of the smart piece of it. Then there's connected, all right? So we have wired and wireless devices um, that are designed to be compatible with a wide range of our MCUs and MPUs. Uh, lastly, uh, secure. Um, we offer hardware and software solutions for applications ranging from uh, secure authentication to trusted execution environments. Very, very neat. Okay, so we're, we're using, you know, TE's sensors and micro E's click boards, connecting up to the microchip board um, and using your IoT capabilities to now connect up to uh, Michael from Avnet's IoT Connect. So can you tell me a little bit more about who Avnet is and you know what you guys are bringing to the table today? Absolutely, Vanessa. So um, both you know, TE and Microchip and Microsoft have been uh, suppliers of Avnet. So Avnet is a global distribution and technology company. Uh, really focused on you know supporting the you know these amazing technologies and accelerating those designs into these unique and innovative products that our customers create. Wow, that's awesome! And so you guys, your role is to um, enable you know these solutions here. Um, but can you tell me a little bit more about the the microchip WFI IoT kit and that experience? Yeah, absolutely. So the microchip has a fantastic connected, secure platform. Um, and it's exactly what our customers are looking for to get their data, you know, to the cloud. Um, and so the focus is being able to uh, leverage uh, products like, um, well, uh, we're leveraging uh, the Microsoft Azure RTOS as, uh, you know, as that software stack to get that data um, uh, into uh, IoT Connect through, you know, through an MQTT channel yes. uh, directly into IoT Hub. Brilliant. And so then you leverage that, you know, IoT Hub underneath, and the overlaying technology that you guys provided is the IoT Connect dashboard, correct? Absolutely. So IoT Connect um, is the, 
what we'd like to you know say is that management uh, console uh, for connecting into the Azure services uh, of, of Microsoft and um, you know it's really about focus on making it simple you know and, and fast for developers to get into an enterprise class uh, um, you know platform in the cloud um, so. brilliant and one other thing you know Connecting up to the cloud, that's a very hot topic and it's very important mm -hmm. to get connected quickly. But security is also a very hot topic. So what role does Abnet play in that role? Yeah, so great question. Um, having technologies like, uh, well, the Microsoft uh, Trust and Go Secure Element, uh, which can enable hardware security, um, still have to be managed to the cloud. Yes. Meaning we have to be able to identify the device, make sure that device is who they, you know, they say they are, and be able to check that or verify that against a certificate you know, in the cloud that would be stored into IoT Hub. So that management of that identity and um, that verification, as well as storing those certificates, is all done within the IoT Connect you know, console interface. Um, How would I get started with the IoT Connect? Uh, great question. Uh, so first of all, the hardware you know uh, is available, and you know so being able to leverage the firmware and the applications uh, as well as that uh, that developer experience, we host on a, a GitHub site, and um, hopefully you'll be able to link to it in the comments uh, in order to uh, be able to leverage the sample application that we have here. Brilliant. Well, thank you so much. Um, and you touched upon the. IoT Hub and its association, as well as Azure RTOS. Um, what are the benefits for Azure users in using the IoT Connect platform? Absolutely. Um, so being able to have access uh, to the uh, you know the base uh, microservices from uh, you know from Azure um, is really you know that that key differentiator. Uh, so we are really focused on one this developer experience, providing a, you know, a dynamic dashboard so that, yes, I can initially visualize the data, uh, but also being able to take that to the next level, uh, meaning uh, being able to provide the uh, connectors you know, into the other Azure services, um, you know, the, everything from the Event Hub, the Power BI, um, and, and SQL, and, and, and so forth of those, uh, those various connectors. Uh, as well as you know, providing that REST API on top so that you can be able to create these very unique and custom experiences uh, that can deliver those insights uh, that are you know, derived from the cloud. Brilliant, well thank you so much, Michael. Speaking a little bit more about you know, the overall architecture of this solution, we do have uh, this quick diagram for you guys today. Uh, we have, we're showing the TE sensors on the micro-E clickboards connecting up to uh, the microchip board that is Azure device certified uh, that sends telemetry data from those sensors up to the IoT Connect platform. The IoT Connect platform, again, a quick overview, connects up those devices, enables dashboard capabilities and uh, cloud commands and communications. Um, it is built on top of Azure IoT Hub or leverages the Azure IoT Hub. To give people a quick overview of the extensibility options and capabilities, we have the Azure IoT product portfolio here. You can leverage the IoT Hub, as we said before. It has extensibility points out to Power BI, connectors out to Azure Data Explorer and Kusto, as well as leveraging the Azure Logic Apps, ML capabilities, and Azure AI capabilities, if you so wished. One thing that we would really like to harp on is that today's demonstration although it is an HVAC system, um, can be leveraged uh, as a broader IoT solution and can be used in other applications as well. Um, connecting up to the cloud is really the first step here in you know, enabling your IoT story um, and leveraging that data and uploading it to the cloud uh, really starts to drive that insight story. Um, the next steps are, progressing out into the edge and to the AI and extending upon this for your particular solutions and for your particular business applications. Thank you again so much for tuning in today um, for this IoT HVAC solution panel.